There are a lot of misconceptions concerning the Sigma personality type out there. Many people think that there is no such thing as a Sigma female. To such people, the Sigma personality type is an attribute that should only be attributed to men and not women. Some women, on the other hand, think that the Sigma personality is too masculine and alienated to be an attribute of women because it makes the woman on which it is attributed different, misunderstood, and an outcast in the so-called women's world. This and many others are mere misconceptions about the Sigma personality type. On its own as a personality type, the Sigma personality is surrounded by a lot of stereotypes, myths, and mysteries that makes the Sigma very intriguing to study. That is why it is by far the most talked about personality type on the internet. Is the Sigma personality the same for males and females? In terms of numbers, there are more Sigma males than there are Sigma females, which justifies the reason why we have so much written about the Sigma man and very little on the Sigma woman. But in terms of how their brains are wired, how they think and react, how they perceive and interpret their surroundings and the people around them, their preferences in terms of food, colors and hobbies are almost the same. Does this mean that the Sigma female and the Sigma male are different on some level? Yes and no, and here is why. Yes, they are different based on gender. Male and female is not the same thing. You may be wondering if sexual orientation also makes them different. No, a Sigma is a Sigma, irrespective of their sexual orientation. Within the male and female genders, are there any differences among them? Yes. In terms of unique physical traits or individual characteristics such as eye and skin color, height or weight, these characteristics contribute as to why they are uniquely different from each other. Upbringing and environmental influences can also make sigmas different based on how they behave and interact with others, both at the gender level and at the subatomic level as in within genders. If we explore the subject of how upbringing and environment influences behavior within and without genders of the Sigma personality, you will come to agree with me on one or all the following facts. 1. That some Sigmas, both men and women, may prefer bright colors instead of their stereotypical dull colors because they were raised or they lived in an environment where vibrant colors were considered a thing. But because sigmas are who they are, some will still prefer the less vibrant shades of those bright colors. 2. That some sigmas may appear as extrovert and socialize with others for longer periods and still manage to hit chit chats. For example, sigma men and women who grow up in small communities where everybody knows everybody or in a large family, the aura of togetherness and oneness that keeps people together may mentally override their solitary lifestyle in favor of a solidarity lifestyle, hence a camouflage sigma who behaves like an extrovert. In terms of what makes a sigma a sigma, be it a sigma man or woman, there is no existing difference between male and female in terms of the sigma personality type, and gender is not the entry level ticket for any individual to be called a sigma or nicknamed the lone wolf. Both men and women with a sigma personality are the same in the following ways and many other ways which have been left out in this video because of time constraints. How they process information. Sigma men and women process information in the same way and follow the same pattern of information acquisition and interpretation. Both prefer to gather information using their intuition and rely on their robust brain power and critical thinking to logically analyze and interpret the information. Both the Sigma woman and the Sigma man suffers from information anxiety and information gluttony. They want to learn everything and want to do so as quickly as they can, even at the detriment of their social lives. How they react to casual conversations. Both the Sigma male and the Sigma female cherish conversations that gives them the opportunity to know the other person better, learn something new and establish meaningful social connections. 
Instead of conversations that drain their energy and waste their time on trivia and gossips. How they use their time. Both Sigmas prefer to spend their spare time reading, listening to music, writing, doing artistic work, or watching a documentary, a debate, or an investigative or magical movie when they do get the time to watch the TV. In the case where both don't have anything important to do, they would rather sit alone and use that time to recharge or spend countless hours browsing on the internet, searching for only God knows what. Not to make a short video too short, let's explore some payoffs for having the Sigma personality that are exhibited by both men and women of the Sigma personality type. 1. Confidence Confidence is a trademark of both Sigmas. It is the first thing people notice seeing them for the first time. Both Sigmas know how to wield their confidence and use it as a cloak to hide their flaws and fears. Confidence is what keeps them going. They both believe in themselves and are confident in their abilities to achieve whatever they set their minds on, provided they are willing to do whatever it takes. They never quit because they are just too confident about themselves once they get started. They might take a few blows here and there on their confidence, but they never bulge. 2. Intimidating From a first impression, you can misinterpret both Sigmas as mean, unfriendly, stern, or intimidating. People often confess to them after getting to know them and being used to them that they both look intimidating but simple behind those concrete walls you may be seeing. Some Sigmas do enjoy the respect that comes with the illusion of intimidation, but there are times they enjoy being feared, especially when they want to take charge of leadership. 3. Empathetic Both Sigmas are very caring, understanding, simple going and easy to talk to. They see things from multiple angles and give a lot of considerations before making a decision. They like to wear other people's shoe to feel where it pinches before making a decision that involves them. They are fair, just and democratic. It is through empathy that most of them understand the complicated world of human emotions and pain. 4. Honesty Honesty is a trade currency for both Sigmas. They cherish honesty and despise dishonest people. Nothing irritates them more than lies, especially when somebody dupes them by telling lies. When they agree on something, they stick to it. If they promise you they will deliver, they make sure to deliver. Not that the Sigma is too perfect or can't tell lies. When they do, it is usually for the other person's benefit and after careful considerations. 5. Loyalty They are the most loyal men and women you will ever come across. They don't snitch and hate snitches. Inasmuch as they are loyal, they also expect those around them to be loyal as well.